I, I, I am intrigued already. I'm going to change what we had planned here because I turned to you. You said, what might we talk about? And I said, well, we might talk about Giannis, and we might talk about Impossible being the MVP, and you had a reaction I was not expecting at all. Please share. <laughs> He's not the MVP. To me, uh, when you talk MVP, that means you're the most valuable player on the team. Your impact is the largest. And when I watch Giannis, yes, he rebounds, he blocks shots, he defends, he does all those little things. I love what he does. I love him. But he's not going to close out a game for you. He's not going to go out and win that big game. In fact, in the fourth quarters, he turns into more of a center and more of into a roller to the rim rather than a guy with the ball in his hands creating opportunities for others. When you watch the Bucks play, it's Bledsoe, it's Middleton. Those guys are closing the games out. Those guys are hitting big shots. Those guys are playmaking, Jay Will. So for me, I can't put you in that MVP candidacy unless you're closing games. I just can't give you that type of credit. I'm I'm not saying he can't develop it, and I love the strides he's made, the, the weight he's put on. I love how he's finishing, but he doesn't finish games, Jay. He's in the conversation, though, Ryan. He's in the conversation. The Milwaukee Bucks are winning the Eastern Conference. The numbers he's putting up are, regardless of the fact he can't shoot, he's shooting 58% from the field. And there, there, there's no way. Hey, stop it. It doesn't matter. I don't need to shoot. I don't need to close out games. to be. I, and he's, you're not comparing him to James Harden from last year. There are certain players who are closers. I'm not saying Giannis hasn't evolved into that yet, but he's in the conversation as a top three player. I, I, I hear him in the conversation, and, and, I'm not knocking, and I'm not knocking Giannis for that. I'm not knocking him for anything, but that's the next development. And I can't say you're the most important. If Middleton closes out the games and Bledsoe is the one closing the games out, they have even a sense uh, more importance, or if I'm going to say value, it's shared on the Bucks. It's a group effort. Do I don't know? have Giannis being my MVP right now. I have Kawhi Leonard being my MVP right now for what he's been able to do with Toronto. The fact that he can come into that system and not miss a beat and to be that player for this team. Now, is he a closer? Stop it. Ryan yeah. Hollins, yeah. you're telling me no. Kawhi Leonard is no. not. Kawhi's I think, I think Kawhi's maybe, I think maybe you forgot. Hey. I no. think maybe you got hit in the head <laughs> and you forgot the fact that Kawhi Leonard is a top two player in this league and he I'm has like, Toronto I'm right not. back where they should belong. I'm not fighting. And Toronto has a really good team. And they win whether he's on the floor or not, okay? They've been very, very they, successful they with and without, okay, Kawhi. And I'm not, not at a high Kawhi. level. Not at a high listen, level, And listen, and Giannis, he's in the conversation. I'm not saying he's not in the ballpark. But I'm looking at LeBron James. I'm even looking at Harden. Heck, I'm looking at Westbrook. If you average a triple-double three seasons in a row, we can't consider this man for MVP? Oh, he's up there. But I, 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 you I, can't I, I consider argue, him? I will argue that Paul George is the alpha of that team. He's Stop becoming, it. He's becoming Stop the alpha it. of that team. Have have you seen the way he's been getting his shots off? You know how many points he's been averaging over the last seven games? Like 28 you points You know what's nice? You know what's nice? As a, as a shooter, as a scorer, to be comfortable because that other guy's handling the basketball has all the responsibilities at hand. But That's is what's it, nice. Isn't a team success another point for a team, for a guy to be MVP? So you're saying, okay, say, okay, see, their success mm -hmm. is what's putting Russell Westbrook in that category? Because it's not. How not? It's what not were they? Right what were they without him? Were they 0 and 4? But I'm saying Without, it. Hold on. When Russell didn't play, this was a team that was 0 and 4. They didn't have the same success. And the healthier he got, the better he was. You Averaging he triple doubles now, he's that engine. Make no mistake. I don't want to keep going on, Brittany. I'm well, sorry. I like everybody. I'm just saying, I, I love OKC. I think mm. they're a good team. But I don't think Russ is playing at the level he could be playing at. Right, and that was, that was, they showed that last night. Then let me bring the conversation back mm. to where it, it was otherwise going to begin. And that is with LeBron James and the injury. If you see what happens, he goes out last night, Jay Will is sort of thinking that this at least gives the Lakers and maybe other teams an opportunity to look at the rest of that roster. Who do you think steps forward as LeBron gets hurt last night and again, he will have an MRI today and we'll find out if he's going to miss any significant amount of time. Who on that team do you believe Ryan Hollins steps in and plays huge? Oh, man, you should need a, a, a pair of glasses and we don't need to be an expert analyst to see it's Rajon Rondo and if you saw as soon as LeBron went out, Rondo's eyes lit up. He started, he, man, he said, hold on. You there, you there, you there. And he just brought a confidence to that team that I don't want to say they had been lacking, but it, it was just the extra emphasis. And you hadn't been seeing Rajon Rondo at his full potential while LeBron has been on the floor. And that was the first time I've really seen a Rajon that I know and that I played with last night, Jay. I agree with you. It's going to be great to watch because LeBron James is so introspective. Mm. He's so analytical. And you can, you can be guaranteed Luke Walton's draw play. LeBron's going to be like, oh, we, what, what, what y'all running? <laughs> okay, Magic Johnson, hey, we, need, we need this guy on the roster. Who, who we need in the roster? We, but but Rondo, we well. get. And Rondo's not going to New Orleans. He was already there, obviously, with Anthony Davis. But how about the young kids? How about Kuzma and Ball and uh, Hart, those kind of guys? Which of them do you think steps into the void? Which one do you like the best? Mm, I, 
I don't think, see, this is the beauty of playing with Rondo. You just have to be the best you that you can be. If you're, I love what Ingram did last night. I thought the ball found his energy. If you're Kuzma, you're, you're catch and shoot, catch on the rim type of guy. I don't need you handling the basketball. If you're Alonzo, I need you to run the second unit. You know what I'm saying? So these guys fall into the roles that we initially expected hard, from them. Hard to know who you are without LeBron James on the court.